All right, guys, Greg Fisher here. I am coming to you from the boat cave. Guys have man caves, I have a boat cave. So people on the internet, uh, websites, discussion boards, everything asking about interference. I'm gonna show you what I've done to get rid of mine. I have 100% no interference on any of my graphs. Uh, started out connecting into the factory disconnect. I uh, used 10 gauge wire, marine, marine grade wire, powered into the disconnect, up into a 30 amp surface mount toco breaker. Uh, right now I gotta figure out, I gotta move it, get a little bit better access. I can reach up underneath from the main compartment and get to it, but it can be difficult if I do. 10-2 wire, uh, marine grade of course, Everything uh, is tinned, anti-corrosion, uh, make good connections, and use heat shrink on them. I run that uh, 10 gauge wire up from the back up to a Blue Seas six circuit blade type fuse box. Everything is labeled, wires are labeled, fuses are labeled, um, makes it easy to get to. I also, when I was in there, went ahead and put in a dual port USB hookup so I could run cameras off of it, charge my phone, anything that I need to do that way. At the console, I, I made my own mount. I've got 200 bucks and my front and back mounts making them myself with a lot of time in it. I run two Helix 12s, uh, a Mega Plus side imaging on the left, a Gen 3 and a Gen 1 side imaging on the right, which is mainly for 2D and uh, I'll use it for my mapping. Everything runs up from the back. I've got a heading sensor that sits on the back panel back here. It is out of the way. It's never been a problem for a co-angler at all. Run my wires up underneath the gunnel, up to the front. I run a Helix 12 Mega Down Imaging Unit. And I also still run a Elite TI-9. I like the small screen on the 9. I use it for 2D up front. It works really good off of the uh, trolling motor built-in unit. Um, I get great great visuals on it. Uh, I've caught fish in 40 to 60 foot of water, actually watching them move on the graph. Pre-wired up front, I'm going to put the Mega 360 on. These mounts up front, I also made those last winter, made the panels, saving some money. My front heading sensor and GPS is sitting up there on the tip, getting no interference in the trolling motor on it. And I've got my GPS unit for the Elite TI underneath of it, and it picks up great also. So that's about it. Um, all the wires are 12 gauge running to each unit, marine, 10 wires. Uh, bought it off of Amazon and eBay. Uh, relatively inexpensive. I got maybe a hundred bucks in everything. This is the wire here. Uh, Lowrance Marine 10, 12 gauge is what I run to each unit. And that is my fuse block that I'm running. Blue Seas. Got a plastic cover on it. Um, nothing has come loose. I haven't had any trouble there. And I made a stop at Cabela's yesterday while I was out. So that's it. Um... It took me, I don't know, a couple hours or so to do it. Not that big a deal. Winter time, downtime, we've all got plenty of time. So part of it um, is, is I just like to custom make stuff. I, I enjoy that. I enjoy spending the time. I like things the way they are. I like things certain ways. So sometimes it's fun to do it yourself like that. All right, guys, got to give a shout out. Got to thank the guys at uh, BB Waterfowl. We're all outdoorsmen, whether we fish, whether we hunt or whatever. Uh, check out these guys' website. They have come up with a great thing. Save yourself some money if you're a duck hunter. And also, you got to thank Jesse at Blue Rock Tackle. Uh, Jesse's custom making some great baits. Check him out. Give these guys a holler. All right. So, guys, until the next time from the Boat Cave, fish on.